tell me where you are. Mm. You're just looking down in a valley. I'm looking down in a valley. Very good. Tell me more. Mm. Uh, it's very. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to mm-hmm. see. I want you to just feel it. Yeah. Just, what does it feel like? It feels like Europe. Mm-hmm. Feels like uh, there's it's golden with some trees around it. Mm-hmm. There's a town, a small town, maybe. Mm-hmm. And as you're looking down at this beautiful valley. I'd like for you to tell me if you feel that you have a body there. Are you physical? I can't can't tell. Mm -hmm. So I want you to feel it. Um, No, it just feels like I can move around. Mm -hmm. So if you can move around, let's see Uh, where you move to. How do you move? What is the manner in which you move? Mm, Very light, like a memory. Mm -hmm. Like I'm imagining it. Very good. So I'd like for you to go deeper into that imagination. And let's see how it is that you move looking at that valley. I like being up high and looking down on it. I like being high looking down. This is where I was earlier when I met my spirit guide. Mm-hmm. So I'd like for you now to connect once again with your spirit guide. I'm going to count from one to three. Tap your forehead and we'll see your spirit guide. Take a deep breath in now. One, two, and three. Be there now. Connect. What's happening? Uh, it's a white angel. A white angel. Wings. Wings. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's female. Mm-hmm. It's a female angel. So I'd like yeah. for you to connect mind to mind, soul to soul with this angel. Who is this angel? Kristen. Kristen. Mm-hmm. What does Kristen need to tell you today? Uh, is Kristen spreading your wings? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. How big are these wings? Mm, They're big. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What else do you feel? Mm, I feel peaceful. I feel relaxed. I feel loved. So let's connect with Kristen. What does Kristen need to tell you today? To be patient. To be patient. No fear. No fear. It's love. It's love. Love, love, love. love. Very good. Mm Let's take these stones out so you can spread your wings. Stretching. Stretch your wings. Mm. Feel those wings. Mm. 
What is it that Kristen does? She's a healer. She's a healer. Tell me more. Angelic. Angelic healer. An angelic healer. Knows. What does she know? Love how to heal. Mm -hmm. Heal how to connect. How to heal, how to connect. Learn. Learn. Find. Mm -hmm. So, why is it that she is your guide? Your mom. My mom. My mom. Mm-hmm. Tell me about your mom. She found Kristen. She found Kristen. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What is it that Kristen does to Chris? Hmm. What does she do? She says, she heals, she believes, she is. She finds, discovers. So why is it that Chris needs this information now? So he knows he's an angel. Ah. Why is it that Chris needs to know that he's an angel? He has a purpose. Mm Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about this purpose? Self discovery. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. What is it that Chris is discovering about himself besides his wings? He has courage. He has strength. Mm -hmm. Wisdom. If he has all of this courage and strength and wisdom, What does he need to use that in this lifetime for? Excuse me? The path. The path. Mm -hmm. When is it that Chris decided that he would come here as an angel? Can you tell me about that? Mm. Would you allow Chris to see that, please? Mm. What is it? Why did I come here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from five back to one. 
When I get to number one, I'm going to touch your forehead, and we will be at the moment when this angel was deciding to come into this lifetime with a purpose. Taking a deep breath in now. Five. Going back in time now. Through time and space. <clears throat> Four. See yourself going back even further. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? In the sky. In the sky. <sighs> Tell me about this sky. Blue. Mm -hmm. blue it's blue sky. Clouds. Clouds. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Where are you? <clears throat> Take a look around you. What do you see? see clouds in my left and right. Clouds on my left and right. And blue in the middle. And blue in the middle. Yeah. And right uh, through there. Mm -hmm. It's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. Like a path. Like a path. Walls of light. Mm -hmm. Walls of light. What do you imagine these walls of light are? These feel like feathers or clouds, they're very light and, and there's a blue at the end of it. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine that blue is? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, what is that? Uh, I'm trying to get there. Mm -hmm. Don't try, just uh, be there. When you are a spirit, when you're an angel, all you have to do is set an intention, and you're there. Oh, I'm off the top of it. Mm -hmm. In blue. You're on the top of blue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is this blue? In the sky. The sky. In this light blue. Mm hmm. Are you by yourself? Are mm. there others with you? I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. Take a look at yourself in this blue. What do you look like? There's a wing right here. There's a wing. What color is this wing? Mm, like a hawk's wing. Like a hawk's wing. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? Describe it for me. Uh, what colors? Like a hawk, like brown and white. Mm -hmm. And feathers out the back of it. Mm -hmm. And it's What does it feel like to have that beautiful wing? Uh, yeah, it feels good. It mm -hmm. feels light. What else do you feel? Uh, Check your body and see. What does your face look like? A bird's face. Very good. Like a hawk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take a look at your body. What does your body look like? Look down. Uh. What does that body look like? I see a tail. What do you see? A tail. A tail. And Um, 
some wings. Are these large wings? Yes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Tell me more about yourself. Are you male or female? Male. Male. So that you're in, in that blue? What's around this blue? Mm. Are you on something? It's hard to tell. I just like I'm floating in the air mm -hmm. and I think I'm looking down on mountains. So let's go even closer. Allow yourself to focus on those mountains and go even closer. What catches your attention? <coughs> you see next? Mm. It's um, kind of hard to see. I'm just seeing my eyelids. Mm -hmm. What do your eyelids feel like? Can you open and close your eyelids? Mm -hmm. Very good. And now that you do that, you can see even clearer. Allow yourself to see even clearer. Mm. Let's close that scene. Allow yourself to close that scene. And we're going to go now traveling to another time <clears throat> and another place in that same lifetime when something important has happened. See yourself there now. Mm. Where are you? Mm, looking up. Mm -hmm. What's there? A hill with trees on trees have been cut out of the hill, but there's there's a path going up, big path going up the hill, trees on either side, and it's going up, mm -hmm. cut through the hill. And where are you? I'm looking up, mm -hmm. up that hill. Do you have the mm. same body there? Take a look. I see a hand now. I see a hand now. Very good. Tell me about this hand. Mm -hmm. What does this hand look like? Um, looks like my hand. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's like power lines going. The cut out where the trees have been cut out. Mm -hmm. Power lines going that way. Mm -hmm. I think there are power lines going Let, up that way. Let's follow those power lines. Allow yourself to fast forward and follow those power lines. What happens? I'm on the top of them now. Mm -hmm. Black and just go up. And now I'm sitting on top of a pole. Mm -hmm. On top of the power lines looking down. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body. What do you look like there? I have my wings again. Mm -hmm. Tell me about those wings. What do they look like? Are they the same? They're the same. Mm -hmm. mm, looking down on that scene. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect with your emotions as you look down at that scene. What is that emotion mm. that comes up when you see this? Feel the emotion. Red. Mm -hmm. mm, joy. Mm -hmm. Peace. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene and now look, move forward in that same lifetime when something important was happening. Where are you now? Where are you? Mm -hmm. Look around you. What do you sense? Mm, resting. You're resting? Resting. With my wings out. What's happened yeah. to your wings that they need to rest? Mm. I think maybe they're broken. Your wings are broken? What's happened to your wings? Oh, I just need to rest. Oh. What's, oh. Ha what's happened oh. to your wings? Oh. What's happened to your wings? I'd like for you to go back to the moment when those wings were not broken, when they were not feeling Tired. What's happened? <sighs> Where are you? <sighs> Where are you? I. What's happened? <sighs> Look at your wings. What's happened to your wings? Oh, they're crossed. I'm on my back and my wings are crossed. I'm on the ground. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. happened to you? I... What's wrong with your wings? working. So we're going to find out why those wings are not working. I'd like for you to close that scene. Close that scene now and let's go back to the moment when those wings were working and let's see what's happened. Mm, I was on top of the power line on the post. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh. You can see it from the outside. You don't have to experience. See it from the outside. Observe it. What's happened? What hit you? I see a white pigeon. A white bird. Mm -hmm. With big wings and a yellow beak mm. spreading its wings. Mm -hmm. On top of me. Who is this pigeon? <sighs> Who 
Observe and, uh, and connect with this pigeon. Who is this pigeon? It's like a big white pigeon. Uh huh. Or it's got a white belly. Mm -hmm. and it's on top of me. It's What's he doing on top of you? Uh, you don't have to feel it, mm. you can just observe it. And it's got its feet in my belly. Mm -hmm. It's got its feet in my belly. Mm -hmm. Observe it, don't feel it. Observe it. Okay, okay, okay. What is he doing to this bird? He's talons and in the belly. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Uh, oh, just it's got its head to the side, looking. It's got like an eagle's face, mm -hmm. beak, beak. Yes. And it doesn't want me to get up. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to fast forward and go to the last breath of your life in that lifetime. Go to the last breath now. Allow yourself to disconnect from that body. Disconnect from that body completely. Allow your spirit to release that body. And as you release, you can see that lifetime from a different perspective. What was the purpose of that lifetime? Hmm. To take joy soaring. To take joy and soaring. Soaring and to use my wings. Mm -hmm. To use your wings. Use my wings. So as you release yourself from that lifetime, what lessons did you learn from that lifetime that would benefit the life of Chris? Find your joy. Mm -hmm. Find your happiness. Find your reason. Find your it. Mm -hmm. And in which way I'm should Chris find his happiness? What's the best way for Chris to find his happiness? Mm. Passion, strength. Passion and strength? Art. Mm -hmm. Art. Art. Mm -hmm. um, pray. And pray. Very good. Very good. So I'd like for you to disconnect from that life completely. Disconnect from that life completely. And let's connect once again with that angel, Kristen. Connect once again with the angel, Kristen. Kristen, why was it that you showed him this lifetime? Why did you show Chris this lifetime? So that he may find peace. That he may find happiness and contentment. And joy. Frame? Frame fast. Frame. Frame fast? I don't know. Now, Kristen, he has already been spreading his wings since he was very young, flying. What is his passion that he needs to follow? What 
is the passion? Tell him what that is. Fine God. Fine God. Mm -hmm. How can Chris find God? Meditation. Meditation. He says he's already been doing that. How is he doing with his meditation? Starting. He's starting. What tips would you like to give him? Patience. Mm -hmm. Is he not patient with himself? Mm, getting better. He's getting better. Mm. Kristen, he's been doing a lot of these wing extensions. Does he have his own wings? Mm hmm. What does he need to use them for? Has he been using them? What does he use them for? Healing. Healing. Mm hmm. Mm. What else? Prayer. Prayer. Touch, touch, touch. 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 Mm -hmm. Touch. 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 Mm -hmm. When he touches someone with his wings, how does that help the one that is being touched? Heal. It Heal. heals. Does he need to do anything? Does he need to know anything when he's touching someone? What does he need to do with the touch? Mm, feel the energy. Feel the energy. Feel the energy. Mm -hmm. Ailment. Feel it. A disease. Okay. So feel the ailment and feel the disease. Does he need to do anything but touch? Be grateful. Be grateful. Very good. So these wings of his, does he also use them at work when he's flying? No. He doesn't need them. He doesn't need them. So it's only with people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what should he be ultimately doing? Should he be using his hands? Should he be doing healing work? Yes. Very good. Kristen, why is it that he uses those gestures? Is that gratefulness? <clears throat> power. It's mm -hmm. power. Mm -hmm. Power. <sighs> Tell me about that power. Uh, it has a purpose. It has a purpose. He wants to know what that purpose is. To reach, to reach, to reach. To reach. Mm -hmm. oh, to reach. And when he reaches, what is he reaching for? The highest, whatever's highest, mm -hmm. just the highest. Ah, uh, whatever's up there. Mm -hmm. Get it. Just reach, reach, reach. 
So can we reach now for that knowledge? Can we access that knowledge from source that will assist him with the healing? Mm, bring it. Tell me what has happened. It's embedded. It's embedded now. It's embedded now. So how can he access this information? Does he need to do it through the meditation or will it just come? Let's take a look and see where it's embedded. In his in his solar plexus. Mm -hmm. So how can he access that? Through the light from above. All right. Through your head. Mm Mm-hmm. So he needs to bring it through. does he have embedded? Is there any other knowledge that he needs to access? Trees. Trees? Trees. Tell me about trees. What does he need to know about trees? Do they have knowledge? Uh huh. Tell me about these trees. Wise, beautiful, wise. The trees are beautiful and wise. And they need to go up. So how can Chris help the trees? Mm, plant them. Plant them. Mm-hmm. Mm, and protect. Protect them. And protect them. Mm-hmm. Now Chris is thinking of moving to California next year and getting into the wine business. Is this a way that he can connect with these trees? Mm, and flowers, too. And flowers. Can you tell him about that? Spring up. Spring up from the ground. Spring, Spring up. Spring up from the ground. Mm-hmm. Oh. What will the flowers help him with? Mm. See beauty and see the beauty and know God. Mm-hmm. The flowers have wisdom and knowledge also. Yes. Mm-hmm. How does he connect with the flowers? Just by looking at them. Uh-huh. And by touching them. And by touching them. Mm-hmm. Will it be both ways? Will he be helping the flowers also by touching them? Or do they help him? Smell them mm-hmm. and feel them and connect. 
and connect with Maha and love them and love them. Find them. And find them. Will he be doing anything with flowers? <clears throat> Will he be doing anything with them? Or just the grapes? Can you tell mm -hmm. him about that? Mm, there is peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. Nature and, and all living things, all living things, all living things. In all living things. Yes. We should be happy with that. We should be happy with that. Yeah, we should be. What, what message does nature have to give him? Help us. Save us. Save us. Find us. Find us. Believe in us. Believe in us. What do we need to believe in nature? Oh, there is art in nature. Healing mm -hmm. in nature. There is fascination. Wonder. Mm -hmm. Believability. What kind of ability? Beauty. Healing abilities. Beauty, beauty, and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Fascination. Will Chris need to be spending more time in nature? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, take more walks. So when he is visiting a city, mm -hmm during his travels, what would be a good thing for Chris to do in order to connect with nature? Mm, go to the park mm -hmm. and find, find a scene. Find a scene. Scene with my grandmother, and when I was in the Rose Garden as a kid in San Francisco, I was there with my grandmother. Mm -hmm. And my hand is waving and feeling the roses. Mm -hmm. And my mom, my mom is there. I see her as she looked then. Let's find out what was happening in that scene. Oh. Look past it. See it through your angel's eyes. What's the importance of this scene? Connect with it. Feel it. Receive it. What do you feel from the scene? Good and peaceful. Good. Mm -hmm. What is it? I can fly there. I can fly there. Very good. So allow yourself. Allow yourself to fly now through time and space. 
to another time and another place that would assist you in knowing more about your origins. I see my mom and dad. I see my mom and dad. In a family picture. Mm -hmm. They're smiling at you. They're connecting. So I'm going to count from one to three and allow your parents to connect with you. One, two, and three. Good morning. Who is that, please? John. John. John, thank you for connecting here today. What would you like to tell your son? I love him. Mm -hmm. I love him. Yeah. What would you like to tell him? To feel. To feel. To feel. To forgive. To forgive. John, what is it that he needs to forgive? What's in his heart? Look inside his heart. What is he not forgiving? What's there? Oh, I think. Where is it? I think he's the bird that was on top of me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> is that the eagle? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. All right, so let's find out what we need to know about this bird. Why did you come here again with this bird? What did you need to forgive? Forgive for killing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that bird has done to your body mind and spirit. Take a look and see. Where is this injury? It's on my tummy. It's on your tummy. Let's find out what's on your tummy. What's there? What's there? This. It's this. Uh -huh. It's the fat. It's the fat. Yeah. Why have you put that fat there? For protection. Protection. Are you protecting it from being Sliced open once yeah. again? Yeah. All right. Do yeah. we need to have that mm -hmm. there anymore? No. All right. So now that we acknowledge that this is uh, the reason why you have that, yeah. can you forgive this eagle for only doing what was natural for this eagle to do? Yes. That he was not able to kill you. He just needed something to eat. Yes. All right. So I want you to go uh. ahead and begin pulling. All of that from your tummy. Begin pulling it all out, 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 out. Let's bring it out, 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 out. Allow it to just be brought out. That's right. Let's send it out. Send it out. Go. Send it out. I don't need it. I don't need it. That's right. Can you forgive this ego? All right. Take a look at your tummy now. What does it look like? Small. Small. All right, so I'd like for you to use those healing hands now. Bring in that energy and begin to heal with that energy that uh -huh. you brought in from source. Bring it in. Bring that energy in. Uh -huh. Heal it. Uh -huh. Tell me what's happening. Light, golden light going in it. Golden light. Uh, Very good. Uh, what is that golden light doing to your tummy? Uh, What's it doing? Uh, letting go. Letting go. Very good. Oh, uh, it's like I'm getting rid of it. Uh huh. So I'd like for Kristen to assist with this, please. And I'd like Kristen to take all of that 
and just remove it. Imagine it like a big vacuum, uh, removing it all out. We don't need to have that there anymore. Uh, Tell me what's happening. It's going. This is going away. What happens now? Take a look. What do you see now? It's open. Open in what way? A good way? Very mm. good. Very good. So let's take a look at the rest of this mm. body. Let's see what else needs to be taken a look at. I'd like for you to scan that body from head down to toes and see if there's anything else that we need to work on. do you see? What's there? Mm, ear. All right, let's find out what's in the ear. What's there? What do you see in that ear? Mm. What's there? Something. Like a bug or something. All right. So let's find out who that bug is. Yeah. I'm going to put my hand over that area. And let's bring that bug up, 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 up. Let me speak with you now. Good morning. Uh, bug, who are you? Uh, roach. A roach. Yeah. What are you doing there? Uh, what are you doing there in that ear? Bugging. Bugging I'm him. Bugging him. Why are you bugging him, roach? You have nothing better to do? I don't want him to hear. You don't want him to hear? What don't you want him to hear? What is it that you don't want him to hear? Ah, the information from source? Why is that, Roach? Why don't you want him to hear? He's not ready. He's not ready. What makes you the authority? Who makes you the authority? Roach, how many are in there? Mm. Is it just you or somebody else? Oh. Um, it has wings. I think there's two of them. Ah, two of them. So why is it, Roach, that you're in there? Stop. To stop him? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Roach, when did you go into his ear? When was it? A long time ago? Or was it in this lifetime? Mm. Find out. Go back, Roach. I want you to tell me. When did you find this this being? How far back was that? Was it in this lifetime, Roach? Roach, I'm speaking with you. When did you connect with Chris? All right. Roach, I want to know why you're there and what you're doing to him. I, 
What is it that you're doing to him? I am flapping. You're trapping him? Flapping, flap. You're flapping? Yeah. Is that why he hears all that ringing? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And what do you get out of it? I like it. You like it? Uh. Why do you like it? Does it give you power? It helps me grow. It helps you grow. Why do you need Chris to make you grow? Is there something about him? that you take from him to make you grow? I like him. You like him. What does he give you? Power. Power. Mmm. Roach, it seems to me that you have forgotten that you have your own power. Did you know that? So how old was he? Seven. When, seven. What was happening when he was seven that you decided you needed his power? Um, it was at this It was at a birthday party? Uh-huh. Uh, and what happened at this birthday party? There was a clown there. There was a clown there. Uh-huh. Did he like the clown? The clown did it. The clown put the roach in there? Uh-huh. Ah. Ah. Why did this clown put that roach in there? Hot. Feel. Feel. To find, to find a home. To find a home? Mm. Was this clown a part of this roach? It needs to leave. The clown needed love? No, it needs to leave. It needs to leave, it sure does. But we can't have it leave yet until it finds its own power. Roach, are you ready to find your own power? Yes. Very good. Roach, look inside of you. Look inside of you. You have that spark of light. This is the God spark. Look inside of you. This is the spark that created you. This is the spark that comes directly from God. This is your own light. Roach, tell me when you find that light. I found it. Make it bigger, Roach. Make it bigger. I want both of you to make it bigger. Make yourself really big. Uh, Roach, do you find your power? Yes. All right. Uh, are, you, are we ready to leave? Uh-huh. All right. So I'm going to ask for some assistance here from Kristen. Angel Kristen, would you escort Roach back home, uh -huh. back to the light? Yes. All right. So go ahead and tell me, Kristen, what happens? He's going back. All right. Take a look and make sure that he's not the only one that's gone. Check the other ear and see if the other one is there. Very good. Very good. Tell me when we're done, Kristen. Oh. Being pulled up. Very good. Oh. So tell me when Roach gets there. Is Roach back with Source again? Yes. Very good. Oh. So, Kristen, I'd like for you to do me a favor. Look at Chris's ears and let's make sure that he puts that healing power into his ears. Show him how to do that. Let's begin healing those ears with that energy from Source.
And tell me when you're done. How do those ears look now? Oh, free and light. Free and light. Very good. Very good. Now, we were talking to John a moment. Is there anything else that John would like to tell his son? Now that he told him about the roach. Anything else, Dad? I'm going to count from one to three. One, two, and three. Dad, what would you like to tell Chris? He has eyes. He has eyes. He has eyes. Mm. Use them. Use them. Use the eyes. Mm -hmm. Use the eyes to see. To see. And when you use those eyes to see, what will he be able to see? God. God. Very good. Is there anything else, Dad, that you would like to tell him? Be thankful. Mm -hmm. So be in a state of grace. Mm -hmm. Be joyous. Be joyous. Be at one. At one. Be at one. Be at one. Mm -hmm. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Chris, what would you like to tell your dad? I love you. I love you, dad. Oh, I love you. Give your dad a big hug. Give oh. Him a big hug. Give him a big hug. Very good. Very good. So now let's take a deep breath in and completely disconnect from Dad. Completely disconnect from Dad. And let's find out what Mom has to say today. I'm going to count from one to three and let's speak with Mom. One, two, and three. Mom. What do you have to say to your son today? He's very, very proud of you. Very happy. Mm, I love him. Mm -hmm. He is full of grace. He's full of grace. Mm -hmm. And wonder and beauty. Wonder and beauty. And forgiveness and So, Mom, tell Chris what he looks like on the spiritual realm. He has these big wings. Tell him what he looks like. Oh, they're big white wings. White wings. Mm-hmm. How should he use these wings, Mom? How should he use these wings, Mom? To rise. To rise. To rise. Mm -hmm. To rise. To be. Mm -hmm. uh, always to be free. Always to be free. And loving. Mm -hmm. Well, Mom, he says he wants to be a part of the solution, the awakening. How can he do that better? The crown. The crown. The crown. The crown, the crown is right here. Uh huh. Tell him about the crown. The crown. Knows the crown. The crown. Tell him about that, please. The crown. 
What does he need to do with the crown? It finds, it connects, it creates, mm-hmm. it flies, heals. It frees you. So should he be using his crown to connect with others? Oh, yes. Yes. He's wondering, Mom, how can he use his creativity to connect with others? What would be the best way? Connect with Source. Tell him. To always, always, always love. To always, always love. To always love. Always, always, always. Fly and always find What does he need to follow? His path. Follow his path. path. Does he know what his path is? It's that way. It's that way. It's that way. Mm-hmm. Can you tell him what that is? Break. It's a big hole in the sky. In the sky? Is it the path of God? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Why does that path to God seem painful? It's not painful. It just. I want to go there. It just calls. Mm-hmm. It, it's just. I'm being lifted into that. It just wants to go there. My soul wants to go there. Is it time for his soul to go there? No. No, no, no. 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 No, it... So how can one live their life here and still be living that wonderful calling? As you did. Right here. The crown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here. And in the heart. Mm -hmm. So through passion. Mm -hmm. Mom, can you tell him a little bit about relationships in his life? What can he do about relationships to make them more loving? What's happened there? Bringing in. Bringing in. You, you can scoop it in. You can scoop it in. Just bring it in. Mm. Bring it in. What is it that you're scooping into him? Energy. Okay. It's like energy. Bring it in. Bring it in. 
Would you define what kind of energy this is that will help him with his relationships? Light, light, light source energy. Okay. Light source energy. Has he been needing this in his relationships? Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, just love. Mm-hmm. And now that he has this love inside of him, mm-hmm. does he need to share this love with others? With you. Mm-hmm. With you. Thank you. Thank you. You are a healer. You are a healer. You are a healer. Thank you. How can he also connect with those that do not connect with him? Can he send some of that love to them? Always. Mm-hmm. Love is easy to send. All right. Can we send that love today? Yes. To Go ahead and have him send that love now. Tell me what he is doing. Mm. Oh, sending healing right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Healing right there. Healing right there. It's going off my hand. Mm-hmm. Healing light. Does this light have any particular color? It's golden light. Golden light. 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 Tell me when you're done with that healing. Does he need to do anything else or just allow it to heal itself? Source. The crown. Very good. And now I'd like to call, call mom back up. Mom? Is there anything else that you would like to tell your son today? Mm, proud of him. Mm-hmm. He is up there. Mm-hmm. Can you explain to him what that means that he's up there? He lives up there. He lives up there. Mm-hmm. So when he's not up there and he's on the ground, what advice would you like to give him? Be happy. Be happy. Grounded. Grounded. Faithful. Faithful. Free. And free. Very good. So take a deep breath in. And Chris, what would you like to tell your mom? I love you. I love you. I love you. Give your, Thank you. 
give your mother a big hug. Give her a big uh-huh. hug. Very good. Take a deep breath in now. Disconnect from your mom. Completely disconnect. Mm. May the light of the universe always accompany you both. And now, I'd like to call back in the beautiful angel, Kristen, who guides him. And he has some questions about disaster relief. What does he need to do with disaster relief that was put into his mind? Mm. What do those words need, mean to him? To help. To help. To help. To help to find and to find and to help and to help those who need help. Who need help. So it doesn't need to be a a natural disaster. It could be somebody's disaster in their own life. Yes. Okay. Will he be using his healing hands Uh, to help them? uh Uh-huh. Okay, very good. Uh. And Kristen, who is Anthony DiCarlo? Oh. Who is that? He. Who is Anthony he. the Carlo? He. Yes. Does he mean anything to him? Mm. Or was he just passing by? I think he was passing by. All right, very good. Does Chris hear a lot of things from those that are passing by? Does he connect with those spirits that need his help? What does that mean? Does he have any spirits now that are connecting with him? Yes. 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 Four. Four spirits? Four of them? Four. Mm-hmm. Uh, F-O-R. Four. They are four? Four. It's for them. Four. Mm-hmm. Four. This is four. This is four. This is four. This. For this. This is for healing. For healing. This is four. Mm-hmm. For freedom. For family. For family. Mm-hmm. For faith. For faith. So this experience that Chris is having is for all of that? Yes. All right. Is there any information that you would like to give him that I haven't asked? He was questioning about the new earth, things like that. It's there. It's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. It's there and can be found. It's there and can be found. How can Chris find the new earth? Up, 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 up. Us? It's... Around us all. Mm-hmm. It's around us all. 
So what we do we need to do to find it? It takes time to find it. Mm -hmm. It takes It takes faith. It takes faith to find it. To find it. So it's nothing that we can do, we just have to have faith. Mm-hmm. What is it? Have faith in your have, angels. Have faith in your angel. Have faith in your body. In your body. Have faith mm-hmm. in your heart. Have faith in the spirit. How is Chris doing? Does he have this faith? Uh Uh-huh. Very good. So has he had a glimpse of the new earth? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, All right. When will he know? But it's there. It's there. It's right there. Mm -hmm. It can be touched. It can be felt. It can be touched and felt right there. Right there. Mm-hmm. It's right there in front of us. It's there. right there. Mm-hmm. Good, very good. Now, Kristen, are there any other lessons that Chris needs to learn in this lifetime? There's a lens, Mm -hmm. a lens, a lens, a lens, a lens that focuses, Mm -hmm. a lens that focuses right there. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that lens. It focuses. Mm-hmm. Is this your third eye? Yes. Mm-hmm. How does this third eye look? Focuses. Mm-hmm. Right there. It focuses. It focuses energy. Focuses right. energy? Right there. So how can he focus that energy from that lens in his third eye bring, to that spot? Bring it in. Bring it in. Right here. All right. Right here. Can we do that now, please? How does that eye look now? Oh, it's being, mm-hmm. being stretched out like it's focused, mm-hmm. focused. Is it focused now? 
That's what this is for. It's for focusing. Mm -hmm. It's for focusing my third eye right there. Mm -hmm. What is in that point that he's focusing his third eye to? That's the lens to God. Mm -hmm. That's that's where it goes. The lens to God. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's this whole area right here. Mm -hmm. It's this right here. That's the lens of God? That's the lens to God. To yes. God. That's it. It's all the energy comes from there. Beautiful. Clear out that third eye. Focus. So he can help others. Very good. Now, Kristen, you have been working with Chris during this session. Can you tell him who you are? Are you a part of him? I'm an angel. I am an angel. I... I'm light. And... I am free. I am light and I am free. free. And I am... Present, so uh, you could be anywhere. Yes, mm -hmm. I am alive. I am of God. I am alive, and I am of God. Why are you working with Chris? Do you have a contract or an agreement with him? Yes. Tell him about that, please. He asked. He asked. He asked for it. He asked for it. Yes. When did he ask for it? In this lifetime or before? Before. Before. Yes. What, what did he ask for before he came into this life? Wings. What did he ask for, Kristen? Wings and... Animals. Wings and... He added... Animals. He added... He wanted animals? Wings and animals. What kind of animals does he work with? Do you see? Alright. I see. An owl. An owl. What is the significance of the owl in his life? How is the owl helping him? Wisdom. Wisdom. Very good. Is this owl a spirit guide? Yes. Very good. Who else do you see? Who else is there? Mm, I think a horse. A horse. What does the horse help him with? It helps loving, him. 
Loving. Loving. From being loving. The horse is loving. Very good. And since he has these wings, what can he use these wings for? Where is he meant to soar to? Up there. Up there. Yes. What's up there? God is up there. All right. So he uses his wings to go to God. Yes. Mm. yes. So he has brought heaven to earth with his wings. Very good. So, Kristen, what is the reason why he was brought here today? What did you need to tell him? You are not lost. You are not lost. You here. You're helping. Mm -hmm. What yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. Your energy. Your energy. Alive, you are. Is there anything else that you would like to tell him, Kristen? Follow. Follow. Follow your path. Follow. Follow. Follow your path. Very good. Right here. Mm -hmm. Feel, no. Feel it in your gut. Very good. Is there anything else, or are we complete? We're complete. Very good. Thank you so much, Kristen. And I'd like for, to thank all of the others who assisted with the session here today. Completely alert, feeling wonderful from head to toe. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, you're missing a pillow. Let me, uh, let me give you one more pillow if you want to uh, scoot up. Okay. Yeah, how do you feel? Ah, oh, I feel wonderful. I was present the whole time. Uh-huh. The whole time. Was it a little bit different than the last time? Um, uh, more informative. Yeah. More informative this time. Mm -hmm. And um, I would have liked to connect to the the past life scene a little more. I could see it. It was fleeting, but I was able to stay with it more mm -hmm. than the last well, it time. Seems like this, the, this yeah. was the, the past life that you really needed to see was the one of the bird. Yes. Because that was causing the issues yes. in your tummy. Yes. Okay. And we now understood that yeah. you were kind of holding that. Yeah. Yeah. But I do remember that I was on the ground and my mm -hmm. had a white belly and a, yeah. that bird had its yeah. talons in me. Yep. And so you brought the belly back mm -hmm. to protect yourself. Yeah. How do you feel? How does your body feel? <sighs> Definitely relaxed and mm -hmm. just uh, refreshed and uh, your connection, better. Yeah, your connection with Kristen was the most important. Yeah, yeah. I could see her as a white, all white mm -hmm. wings and kind yeah. of a almost a a uh, rectangular body almost. Really? Like a like tubular? A recta almost. More rectangular and yeah. yeah, the wings were what was most prominent to uh, me. What about your wings? These white wings. Oh my goodness. Um, this was turned off. Uh, uh, that's okay. 
<laughs> um, my wings are like those of a hawk. I've always loved hawks. I think they're majestic animals, and mine looked like that. They were brown and white, uh-huh. and um, yeah, they felt like I, could, I felt like I could soar on them. Mm-hmm. Well, you obviously yeah. were. Yeah. I mean, the whole reason I think you're having these sessions is really to confirm the fact that you've got angelic wings. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, yeah, I mean, There's, I can feel them. Yeah. Really, the, the, the past life is really interesting, but it's not what the whole purpose is. Yeah. That you're being told, again, this is what you're here for. Yeah. You're here for healing. Yeah. You had to get that third eye open. Yeah. Yes. Because it wasn't. Yes. I think, I don't know what your other session was for. But this one was more about you getting those abilities yeah. ramped up. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, I, that I felt sense? that total sense. Yeah, I, I felt that the way that, I mean, yeah, I, I, I know I wasn't doing all that stuff with my arms, <laughs> and I could, yeah, I could feel myself being pulled up yes. and in Almost different taken. directions. Almost yeah, taken as like no, 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 you didn't. And you, you know, when I've had them. these sessions before at home and stuff, they're that. The pulling of yeah. my neck up like that. Yeah. You know, I did have a little bit of a sore neck, but it seemed. What about your ears? I think. Yeah. They still ring a little bit, but. Well, you we cleared that. them out. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of. Where that came from <laughs> with the clown. Why the, I had a. I think it was actually my sixth birthday. I had a clown, and my, my mom had gotten me a clown. Mm-hmm. From, so, what do you think about this session? Pretty pretty good yes it, it was it was I've always intuitively known this in my entire life mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. but I didn't have an expression for it and I didn't maybe wasn't ready yeah for it to come out and I I don't know that I'm fully ready yet I think that it's going to be a process for me right. I think it's but I am excited about it and I mm-hmm. want to do my part that's why I, what about I put, the new earth it yeah. was like you would, it was like right there. It was, yes. It was. I felt more of a a pull to it, but I I think that it's more of an obvious thing. I think it's more obvious than we think. Mm-hmm. I think that if we open ourselves up to it, yeah, and we become more aware, that it'd be it's then it'd be very easy. Mm-hmm. It's not something that's difficult to get to, but you need to be, you need to have those higher vibrations. That's you know, really all it is. Yeah. And uh, faith is what we're talking and, about. And faith, absolutely. Yeah. Not I, that, uh, you can't go around saying, oh, it never happened to me, or what's, you can't no, be in a fear based No, on no, 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 no. That's down on the, I have a scale. I have, mm-hmm. I've drawn it for people before where fear yeah. and anger mm-hmm. and down here and yeah. love is up here. And the more you can be up there, the more you'll mm-hmm. vibrate higher and yeah. be closer to God. So I think that's all it really is. And just, you know, act your highest thought mm-hmm. and don't hurt other people and be present. Enjoy the moment. It was beautiful. It was, boy. And I just, I wasn't sure if I was going to remember, you know, before the session, but I was, I remember everything. Mm-hmm. I remember my arms going everywhere. I remember <laughs> the messages were coming in so I, I wish they would had come in clearer, like a voice, but they were coming. I could, mm-hmm. I wasn't saying them. Mm-hmm. And there were times when I was having difficulty getting the, F, there was a word that began with an F a few times, like a F. Mm-hmm. I think I got that out. Mm-hmm. And, or maybe one or two other words where it was just kind of mm-hmm. trying to get it out. But I think with practice, it'll, maybe it, it, it will. It's not practice, huh? or it's just allowing. Allowing, yeah. People yeah, try to do hypnosis. You can't try. You just have to allow well, it. Yeah. Well, I'm perfectly willing to allow it. But you, were, you did really, really well. Yeah. I mean, that was really great. I didn't know that was going to happen. That's I'm okay. I remember. Now, I'm ready. my mom ready coming her. to you. Yeah. That is so her. Mm-hmm. That is so her. Mm-hmm. That is. And your dad, too. And dad. But my, but my mom extending a hand out to yes. you to say thank you. Mm-hmm. That was that's so, and my, my dad would have done that too, but mm-hmm. she, that's her. She she was drawn to healers. She was a healer, but she's just drawn to those people. Mm-hmm. And if you you read that story, you'll see. Mm-hmm. And um, it it she was a very 
amazing human being. And so I'm, I'm not surprised that she reached out to you. I would have made more comfortable. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but, this, is, this is how it works. Yeah. I, I don't, you know, everyone's different. Yeah. So you just go with it. That's, yeah. That's yeah. the whole thing. Is this something you want to keep private or you want to share it? Oh, goodness. Um, I mean, if you think it would help people, but do you think it would be beneficial? It's nice to see an angel every once in a while. Yeah, time. yeah. Um, you know, we would take out personal stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what the experience? Wow. Physical therapy, maybe. Wow. That was... <laughs> it, it was quite an experience. Yes. And uh, as I said, I was I felt present the whole time yeah. doing it. Well, that's um, what hypnosis is. Yeah, and I... Um, I definitely wasn't doing it myself. I know that I've had this yes. happen before, as yes. I've told you, and um, it was just amazing. Yeah, learned learned a lot. <laughs> well, you've had a hypnosis session before. That's right. What was the know. difference between that one and this one? Um, that one, I think, was more... Um, it wasn't quite as... Uh, detailed as this one was, mm -hmm. and certainly there wasn't any of the movement. Oh, there no. was a little bit of it. There was just really? I was reminded that I had wings. I had my hands had come up and I that was, was reminded it. that that was it. Ah. So, it was, so you really let your wings out this time. Yeah, that, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And, wow. And that okay. one was more just about this life is I'm here just to sort of be and to, how to have an easy life is what yes. really came out. That but, one. But this but one this one, yeah. Yeah, I think we learned a lot more. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And you can see that each time you have a hypnosis session, it's totally different. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 And what What affected you the most? Um, I would say the connection to um, Kristen, mm -hmm. the angel. Yes. Um, that definitely. I, and, you know, when I, when I saw her my body movements became even more pronounced. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely that connection there. Mm -hmm. um, it seemed like I was having a little difficulty getting what she was trying to tell me, but it came out. It was mm -hmm. like in one word at a time. Well, it doesn't and, have and to be in words mm -hmm. because it's nice to have it recorded, but you were getting the gist of it yourself. Yes, I was. it was definitely coming into me for right. sure. But you expressing what, what it was, it really is meaningless to me as long as you get it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I and you were getting it. I definitely got it. But I had never seen her before. I had ne I didn't know who it was that was doing this to me. Well, that was one and of your questions. Yeah. Is who's doing this That's to right. me? And, and why? Exactly. <laughs> now you understand. Now, now I think I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we went through all of your questions somehow, yeah. you know, we didn't go directly through the list, but uh, you got all of your answers. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I think they all... I intuitively knew them. I've always been mm -hmm. a fairly intuitive person, and mm -hmm. I think I have intuitively knew those answers, mm -hmm. but it's nice to, to know. Do you remember about the flowers? Yes. I've always loved flowers. <laughs> I tell people, hey, don't tell anybody. I know I'm a guy. I'm not supposed to say that, but I love flowers. Yeah, I, I've always loved flowers and trees. My mom was a big tree person. Mm -hmm. um, I've always loved trees, and um, so connecting with nature was also came out of that last session. Exactly, yeah. So I think there was more of that here. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely, and I, you know, every time I'm out of nature, I feel it. I, I feel connected. But I, we're all meant to be connected. Absolutely. It's not a male or female thing. Oh, of course not. You know, we, we are part of nature, and the more we're in nature, the more that God part of us comes yeah. out. Yes, yes. And I, yep, I feel the pull. I definitely yeah. feel that. Yeah. So do you recommend this to to other people? Absolutely. Absolutely mm -hmm. recommend it. it. It's it's illuminating. You'll learn some things about yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, and it it helps you to, to bring some clarity. Yeah. Your and, your, yeah. and your whole thing is to spiritually awaken people too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope this helps. Yeah. Um, it will. Yeah. It yeah, will. I think, I think we're, we're all in this together. So <laughs> Yes, we are. We all are. So if you would like a session with me, go to my website, albawyman.com. Click on the hypnosis tab and then the newsletter and sign up for my newsletter mailing list. Um, it comes out about once a month. And when it comes out, you have to go for it really fast. True. Right? Oh, yes. I got lucky. <laughs> yeah. And if you're meant to be here, you will be yes. here. So don't give up any hope. Nope. If you get if you get that newsletter, keep clicking on it. And uh, those sessions go within a few minutes. So 
keep trying. If you're meant to be here, you will be. That's true. And I hope you enjoyed this session. It was really, really different <laughs> from any other session that I have I've posted on YouTube. So I hope yeah. that was uh, pretty enlightening to you that yeah. hypnosis is not sleep and your eyes are, no. you're not like, you don't look I'm, comatose all the time. So <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye until the next time. All right. Let me have that hug. Oh, yes. Ooh. It was wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you.